Under the leadership of a U.S. Nobel Prize winner, probably the best physicists of 16 countries, including Europe, China, and Russia, have united their efforts to begin one of the most ambitious scientific research programs ever attempted in space. With the impressive 8-ton Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS, to be launched soon by the Space Shuttle, they will try to answer the startling question of what the universe is made of. So these are the justification, looking for new form of matter which you cannot build in the laboratory. But of course, we would be much more surprised and enthusiastic if we found something else. Because the research is exactly that, looking for the unknown. No matter what will be detected, the first permanent observatory of cosmic rays will allow some surprising discoveries about the unexplained disappearance of antimatter in the universe and the mysterious dark matter that should pervade the cosmos according to the Big Bang Theory. 90% of the matter in the universe cannot be seen or detected, even if it is known to exist from all calculations. This unique cosmic ray detector, AMS, which is the largest scientific instrument of the International Space Station, could bring a revolution in the physics of the universe. 95% of AMS has been developed in Europe, and CERN, next to Geneva, has been the home laboratory of the 600 scientists around the world who have been working on AMS. Even Samuel Ting, the Nobel Prize winner and MIT physicist and principal investigator of AMS, as he put it, made his career basically at CERN. Nearly all the things are done in such a way if it follows what was developed at CERN. The, the technology used in particle physics is really in the frontier. But we have tried to put it into space. Because Europe is a world leader in particle physics, CERN has been chosen for AMS development. And this is built on a tradition of 50 or more years. Italy, France, Germany, and other countries have uh, developed techniques for detecting particles for accelerator. So it was quite uh, natural for this community to propose uh, to build a particle a detector to operate in space. Now AMS has been delivered to NASA Kennedy Space Center, and one of the last flights of the 30-year shuttle program will have an incredible responsibility in 2011. Shuttle Endeavour will launch this 1.2 billion euros AMS to be installed permanently on the exterior of the space station. This Nobel Prize research program will bring a lot of scientific value and perhaps some glory to the ISS as a world-class lab and a unique microgravity facility. Space station is the closest thing to CERN but located in space, meaning a large laboratory with infrastructure, power, uh, data transfer, uh, 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 capability of manipulate large element, large payload, long time operation, exactly what we need for AMS. Cosmic rays are high energy particles which are emitted from cataclysmic events such as star explosions or supernova in distant galaxies, but which get destroyed by collision with our atmosphere. The collisions of the high-energy particles can leave a trace and could help to understand what the 90% of the universe consists of. 450 kilometers above the obscuring atmosphere fixed to the ISS, AMS will sift millions of particles per second and detect cosmic rays using a huge magnet and six state-of-the-art detectors. The goal of the AMS is to be able to identify one particle out of a billion of particles and to tell this particle the mass, the charge, uh, positive or negative. Identify like I was looking to rain outside the window and I can pick up one of the drop which is red. The scientists expect the AMS to pick up some antimatter particles and some signs from the mysterious dark matter. We are entering into a totally unexplored region with an instrument with unparalleled precision. Everything we do will be a new discovery. These observations may answer important questions about the Big Bang, including why has the Big Bang left so little antimatter? And what makes up the universe's invisible mass?